Welcome to Booze on the Rocks, and today we're going to make a Havana Zombie. Now this is a variation of the classic zombie cocktail, and in the um, aspects of finding a little bit of history for this cocktail for you, I kind of stumbled across something else. Now the original zombie itself was created in 1934 by Don Beach, and he created this at his Don the Beach Coma restaurant. Now, when I was looking for my history of who created this variation, I couldn't find anything, except I did find an interesting Cuban movie called Juan de los Muertos, or Juan of the Dead. Now that came out in 2011, and it is a comedy horror zombie film, and the only one of its kind ever filmed in Cuba. And you know what? I'm gonna use that as the inspiration, plus a little bit of the traditional recipe. Uh, and I found a couple of different variations of this cocktail. So what I've done is I've put together my own sort of recipe for this that'll balance it out a little bit better. Now it's a shaken cocktail, so make sure you have your shaking glass. Now the recipe itself calls for three different rums. Now you need a light rum, a gold rum, and a dark rum. And the only Cuban rum I have right now is Havana Club, and I'm using three-year-old. The other two are Bacardi that I'm using right now. Now, they traditionally started in Cuba, but eventually migrated off the island. And you know what? Well, um, if you don't happen to have these three rums all together, you could just make it with a gold rum. And we're going to start with one ounce or 30 milliliters. One of the things to remember is just because somebody shows you how to do something in a cocktail doesn't mean you necessarily have to use the exact same spirits that they use because you may not have something available to you. But I was able to get these at a reasonable price, which is why I use them. Now again, uh, Bacardi Gold, one ounce, 30 mils. And the third bit of rum is a dark rum. Now I've never used a Bacardi dark rum before. Uh, anyways, superior black rum. <laughs> Inside joke there for myself. But you're going to use the same amount of one ounce or 30 mils. Your next ingredient now is a little bit of simple syrup. Now we don't need a lot. This is just going to give us a little bit of sweetness. We're using a teaspoon or a bar spoon's amount for a total of five mils. Now you just wanna, of course, give that a bit of a stir just to make sure you get all of the simple syrup up off there. Now, we are going to continue to sweeten this a little bit with a little bit of pineapple juice. Now I'm using a little bit of a 100% pure pressed pineapple juice, so there should be nothing added. Now we need two and a half ounces, which is 75 mils. And this jigger is a one ounce and one and a quarter ounce. So we'll use two parts of this or two equal measures for 75 mils. And we're going to build this up a little bit more with a little bit of lime juice. Now I'm using the lime juice to balance this out a little bit. And like I said, some of the recipes don't actually call for lime juice, but based on the total ingredients, what we'll do is we'll just squeeze the entire lime in, which will give us approximately one ounce or 30 milliliters, especially if you get a lime like this, it actually seems to squeeze really nicely. Now, what we are going to do is we're gonna keep one part of the lime husk off to the side and we're going to use it with our garnish. Now, your next step is to actually put some ice in this and then we're going to shake it good for about 10 seconds or so. So make sure the glass is basically full all the way to the top. Get a really good seal because if you flip it, you don't want it coming apart. Now, every time it actually gets all the way to the top and I do one of those flips, I sometimes worry because every once in a while, they do come apart. And that's just based on the uh, fact that I use a glass Boston uh, shaker because that just uh, doesn't seal exactly the same way on a metal on metal tin. Now we are going to fill this with fresh ice all the way to the top. And this is a 16 ounce 460 milliliter uh, hurricane glass. We don't need to fine strain this. Just use your Hawthorne strainer to keep out the big chunks. Absolutely gorgeous. Now take your little bit of lime husk, 
throw it on top just like so. And here you have a Havana zombie. Grab a straw. Oh yeah, that's good. That is good. You can taste the rum, it's bold. It's cut with the lime juice and the lime juice comes singing through as you can tell by the saliva that's happening. The pineapple juice is there. It's not overly sweet. It's actually just this side of tart. If you love cocktails like this, take a look after the recipe card over here.